everybody my name is Chris and welcome back to another air fix vlog now we need to do a little bit of painting so let's just get it started first of all which you can see I've kind of already done a bit earlier Make sure it is nice and stirred, especially in my case when I'm dealing with sort of older paints. You know, oil based paints or enamels, this is never tend to go off. But uh, you do have to mix them up. And uh, I find uh, that to be honest, the best thing mix mixing them up is a cocktail stick. It's about the right size, and it does a treat. And I'm going to need just a dab. Of paint, and I do, I do, I do mean just a dab, and no, not the type of dabbing I normally do. <laughs> and then, you see, for me, it's quite difficult because my hands tend to shake a little bit. So you want to try and just do the face. So now we go a little bit over because we'll be uh, we'll be painting over uh, well. It looks too. It looks kind of terrible at the moment, if we're being honest, but we're going to see how it dries. Because I had this problem before when I hadn't mixed the paint. The thing is, I have now. That shouldn't be an issue. Now, I know obviously it has dripped off and gone down. That's fine, it can do that. We'll see how it looks when he's dry. All in all, I think he came out okay. I mean, it doesn't look so good from here. And it definitely spilled over. But at the end of the day, I'm going to be painting the body next and the legs. So it doesn't matter so much it spilled over. But uh, obviously, it, it, it doesn't look so great from this angle. But bear in mind, you'll be seeing more from here. And it looks pretty okay. Like I said, it's obviously spilled over. But I'm going to work on that now. So our next step is going to be a bit of work on the body. Starting off by getting rid of the excess pink paint. Now I've got a feeling this is going to come out a little too green. And then we're going to end up going over this again. But I'm honestly not sure. So we're going to see. Really all we can do is uh, yeah, try it and see what happens. Looking all right so far. Little treat there. Got a feeling I'm going to end up going over this again. Well, uh, there he is as he stands right now. I think he's going to be a little too bright, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, I'm calling it he's too bright. I mean, obviously, I know he's different. I'll get this zoomed in. You know, yeah, he doesn't like it, okay. But he's obviously different from his hat. I, I could have easily changed the colour of the hat. But yeah, I mean, he looks, he looks like a... He looks like one of the army men from... Uh, <laughs> oh, from Women Toy Story. Nah, he, he needs to be that colour. I did a good job on the paint, though. I actually think I did a good job on the paint. So, let's get him painted. Yeah, already the darker colours just, just works better. Just 
from the touch of a brush I can see clearly. Now the back actually wasn't done so well. I don't know how well you can see it from here, but there were issues with the back, which I would have touched up if not for the fact that we were changing the colour. And you touch it up a little bit pointless. Hey doggies! I guess they get to be in the video. <laughs> Okay, that looks pretty good to me. I don't know how well you can see it. Looks pretty good to me. So, as always with the painting, next step is waiting for it to dry. I think he looks pretty good. He's still a little bit glistening because, surprise, surprise, he's not dry yet. I think while I'm waiting for him to dry, I'm going to give some of these other guys a bit of a paint. Specifically, I'm going to paint the hats. Uh, paint is mixed, I think, I hope, I pray. And now it's time for the helmet. Starting off with the guy here. You know, I, I apologise if some of these angles aren't as good as they could be. The way, the way I have to do it, I don't really see how you see it. I can't see what the camera is filming. So I am kind of, to an extent, guessing. In terms of, where, of uh, how well you can see things. There's one helmet done. Basically I'm going to do these the way I did the guy in there. Start with the helmet, then move down the face, and then the bodies. Some of them have items in their hands, stuff like that. I'm going to paint them a separate colour. I'm not really going for too much detail with this one. I kind of just want to get it sort of painted and done. Um, I'm going to try and improve detail sort of as, as I go with each model. I may very well one day buy another one of these and come back to it once my skill level is a lot better. But the thing is, I know at the moment I'm not really good enough to do a good job of the details. So I'm fine with just a general, you know, sense of it's done. Because it, it's never going to be great, but at the end of the day, you know, I should improve over time. Which, of course, is, is the whole point. There we go. That is all the hats done. They may need a little bit of touching up, which uh, the way they'll do off camera. But I will see you when they're done. Honestly, I thought they were really touching up, but they actually look pretty good, so I guess not. Since everything is now dry, we need to get a bit more colour onto them, specifically flesh tone colour. As always, it doesn't matter. Uh, already we've gone over, but it doesn't actually matter. It just. Well, we don't hit the hat, that's the only thing that matters. We don't want to have to. Redo the hat. You know, I haven't got time to redo the hat, so I definitely don't want to get it done. But you can see there, like it's, go, it's gone all over the shoulders, but it 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 ultimately doesn't matter because that's going to be painted over it anyway. Uh, oh, that one has hundred percent hit the hat, but not enough. I think anyone's actually going to see. So, move on. It looks kind of crazy, but then I kind of forget that A, it looks... I think it feels kind of crazy, it looks kind of weird, like it looks off, but I forget that I'm... <laughs> You know, like you look how much over it is, but then you forget that it's like, oh, I'm actually going to be painting over the bit that's gone over. Like, it doesn't matter. There we are. Four guys on there done, and then we just have the gallo man. Well, my first brush stroke there couldn't have missed more if I actually tried. I mean, seriously. I 
There we are. And there they are. All looking a fraction more human. <laughs> They're looking okay now. A bit of a... They're going over, but of course that's what we are here. Deal with next. Just as soon as we work out where we start the paintbrush. Seriously, where the heck did I put my paintbrush? <laughs> um, that's definitely not it. That's way too big. Uh, there you are, you little bugger. Where did you run off to? Go. Get rid of the. Get that too far over. Yeah. Making sure I leave my neck. Now, in future models, I intend to try and go in more detail. But I said I've said already with this one that I just want to get it done. Because I'm not, I'm not, this is my first model in like a decade at least. I'm not really, I'm not going to do a good job with it. And I think it's important that I kind of accept that right now. But that this is a starting point. You know, because next time I will do a better job. You know, next time I will get a little more detail, and the time after, a little more, and the time after, a little more, and it will just get better and better and better, until I don't even see how it could get better, because it will be that good. So that's how things go, you know? You, you have to, pro you can't expect miracles the first time you try something, you just can't do it. And you're an idiot if, if you do. And, and this is coming from a guy who's absolutely been that idiot. Who's absolutely tried something. And has been really disappointed. Because I wasn't amazing at it. And you think to yourself, well at the end of the day you spent five hours on something. And you're expecting to be a master? Ha! You barely brushed the surface. Okay, that's two. I think at this point we're going to speed up. Because otherwise it's going to take too long. So, here we go. I wonder how my voice sounds now that it's in full-blown chipmunk mode. I think it sounds pretty good. It does full-blown grass. Wow, it's so much more paint than I need. Yeah. Now I've got some of this face. We do that next time. Or before next time, whatever. We need time to do it this time, so... Next time. Nothing to not worry about with this, it's getting messy. I've had paint on my hands, so I'm going to keep getting paint on my hands. There's you can't worry about. If the kind of person hates getting paint on you, it's getting messy. Which I used to be, before I worked on a car, I don't care as much now. If you're that kind of person, I think it's 100% not for you. There we are. And now I'll just leave them dry. Yep, a little bit to chat there. There we go. And uh, now we'll leave it dry. So all in all, this is pretty much all I ended up achieving. Some painted soldiers, that's pretty much it. But you know what? I am actually happy with it. I mean, I wanted to get a lot more done, but I'm happy with what I did do. Join us next time and we'll get a heck of a lot more done. But until then, I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you again very, very soon.